going by the word of God, no child is above discipline. The children of Eli, they were disciplined. When they make, they made mistakes. Mm. The children of Samuel, they were disciplined when they make or made mistakes. Mm. So I don't believe there's any position anybody can reach in this life, even as a child of the general overseer, when your child has committed an error, he or she must be disciplined. When you are not disciplined, it means the word of God is not effective. God himself chastises us. So if God can chastise us, just because we have made the mistakes, I don't think anybody is above discipline. Hmm. And you can make mistake at any time. You must be called back to, uh -huh, for you to know that what you have done is not good. Otherwise, when you are left alone, people will kill after you. Hmm. Believing that what you have done is the right thing when you are not disciplined. What I understand about the world we speak is that there are times we see things we did not plan to say. Hmm. We just release the word. You know, there are people that know how to, they just talk anyhow, after which they withdraw the word. So he put it on his Instagram, just put it there. Okay. I know, yes. I know, I know. Maybe what those pastors did is not even up to something that somebody can do and you refer to him as good. So, in one word, they may not need deliverance. Mm. You know, you can just borrow a name and give yes, somebody. Sir. Yes, sir. A name that is not your own, just because you are angry, you can just borrow that name and give somebody. So if that is the case, if that is what happened, those pastors may not need deliverance. Mm. Maybe it is the person that called them goat that need deliverance. Mm. What about people that came into this world that did not pay tight and they were children of God? Mm. What about people that came into the world, this world, they are children of God and they have not been walking before they die? Will they make hellfire? They have not been walking for them to have tight to be paying. And they are children of God. And along the line, they, they died. Mm. We didn't miss heaven just because they were unable to pay tight. I don't think so, sir. Uh -huh. mm. So the truth is in the Bible. It's a pity many cannot read the Bible. They don't have the time to study the word of God. Okay. And therefore, anybody can preach heresies to them. They just take it. They take it. Hook like a sinker. Uh -huh. mm. So we, we should not allow those happening to discourage us because they has been prophesied mm. and they are bound to happen. Mm. Eternity is very important, very salient. It is much more than whatever happened now. Mm. So those members that have stopped going to church, I am appealing to them, go back to church. It may not be your former church where you are disappointed. There are still good church. If you pray, the Holy Spirit will lead you to the right place mm. where the word of God is being preached.
I wanted to ask you the question, that, sir. Recently, mm. we heard of the situation of the son of a pastor. First and foremost, this man of God, Paradeboe, first said that if you don't pay tithe, you are not going to heaven, period. He said it in the broadcast. Mm. That is by the side. And restitute your ways with your congregation. Make it clear to them. Anyone who is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven. Full stop. <laughs> Then recently, his son, the, 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 the wonderful young man called the Liki Adeboye, who is also the PA to the father, mm. called some of the pastors of that church, and said they are goats. And you know the peculiarity of goats and sheep. He said they are goats, yet since today the father has never said anything. Of course, the father is a gentleman. Mm. He didn't say anything, but they said they conscripted three members, something, something, this general committee, well, all his father's lucky. And the guy just realized say sorry after like a few days, you know. But what does this tell you about? And how do you feel about that as a Christian leader? I mean, to be calling a co pastors yeah, a good, good and all of them that they are good. Well, I saw it in a newspaper and I didn't read further to know why he was calling them good. And going by the examples of Jesus, mm -hmm. the only people I think you can be, you can refer to as good. They are disobedient people, disobedient pastor. You know, goat as an animal, disobedient is part of the characteristics of goat. If you see, so, my own personal opinion is, is what I'm saying. You know, okay, sir. For a pastor to call other pastors a goat. I don't think the Lake is, 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 is Lake a pastor. He is a pastor. Okay, he's a pastor. He is okay, a pastor. His father anointed him as or something like that. Okay. He is a pastor. He is a pastor. Okay, he is a pastor. Okay, sir. Okay, to the father. Okay. So for him to be calling the co-pastor's goat, okay, sir. I am surprised. Sincerely speaking, I am surprised. If there's anything that they have done wrong, I believe maybe they have disciplinary committee. He said that his father preached. After preaching, they still did their own preaching. I think uh, these people maybe the first Sunday of the okay month. first Sunday of the month the, 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 the Jew that speak that preach I said those people that nobody should preach you know this kind of preaching that they show it all over okay. the branches okay. through the okay. camera you know you want okay. to used to do Akumi used to do that you mm. just show it every branch then you as a pastor you just do offerings and just uh, benediction and everybody goes home so, so I think after those, that preaching uh, other pastor preached again uh, those not preached so he called them goods yes. that statement is very heavy. It's very, to me, it's very heavy because I cannot utter such a statement. It's a heavy statement. And something must be done to such a statement, either to withdraw it or to say sorry. Uh, he says sorry later, but I'm just thinking that, I mean, how can the father, the father is so gentle about it, the father has been like quiet. Is that not an embarrassment? To you his, mean his uh, father yeah. has not said anything yeah, about it? He has not it? said anything, but have not said anything to today. I'm surprised. And I'm the, surprised. The guy said the PA to the, the, the father. No, I'm surprised to hear that one. He has not said anything. I'm surprised and, and to this, hear that. The one. same lady that sometimes he go, he was, he has this kind of he had he and his wife that they did the kind of lifestyle he lives at time. You want to say maybe he's a celebrity, say, say a movie celebrity or a musician or something like that. You know, how do you see when the man, a child of a bishop, a general overseer, you know, misbehave? Going by the word of God, no child is above discipline. The children of Eli, they were disciplined. When they make, they made mistakes. Mm. The children of Samuel, they were disciplined when they make or made mistakes. Mm. So I don't believe there's any position anybody can reach in this life, even as a child of the general overseer, when your child has committed an error, he or she must be disciplined. Nobody is above discipline. As long as you can commit an error, you are entitled to discipline. Because when you are not disciplined, it means the word of God is not effective. God himself chastises us. So if God can chastise us, just because we have made the mistakes, I don't think anybody is above discipline. Hmm. And you can make mistakes at any time. You must be called Back to, uh -huh, for you to know that what you have done is not good. Otherwise, when you are left alone, people will kill after you. Hmm. Believing that what you have done is the right thing. When you are not disciplined, they will kill after you. It's very, that's such a picture. Uh -huh. in, a, in a big environment like that, you, any error that is going on them must be called to order immediately. So that 
there, there will be sanitization in across board. Yes. But do you think goat is a good uh, 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 animal? It's not a good animal. Mm. Jesus said, the goat will be by the left, the sheep will be by the right. Mm. So anyone that Jesus is referring to as goat has nothing to do with the kingdom of God. Mm. So for somebody to be called goat is a very heavy word. Do you think those pastors need deliverance? I like to call them goats now. <laughs> Uh, because of the tags, I'm afraid for that tag. When it says all these goods, you know. They, they, what I understand about the word we speak is that there are times we see things we did not plan to say. Mm. We just release the word. You know, there are people that know how to, they just talk anyhow, after which they withdraw the word. So he put it on his Instagram, just put it there. Oh, I know, yes. I know, I know. Maybe what those pastors did. It's not even up to something that somebody can do and you refer to him as good. So, in one word, they may not need deliverance. Mm. You know you can just borrow a name and give yes, somebody. Sir. Yes, sir. A name that is not your own, just because you are angry, you can just borrow that name and give somebody. So, if that is the case, if that is what happened, those pastors may not need deliverance. Mm. Maybe it is the person that called them good that need deliverance. Mm. I mean, later we need to... A kind of deliverance. Look at the way. God will help him. Amen, sir. Before we finish, sir, the other question I wanted to answer is that mm. is it true that Lake's father said that people that don't pay tithe will not go to heaven? What is the condition for going to heaven? Is tithe payment part of it? As a man of God, deep in the word of God, and deep in scriptural values. My understanding concerning the issue of tithe yes, sir. is different from what I'm hearing. So the man said, if you don't pay, they're not going to heaven, period. I have not seen that in the Bible. Okay, sir. The only thing I have seen in the Bible, if you don't pay tithe, is that you are inviting devourer. Hmm. So if you don't pay tithe, I'm yet to see it in the Bible that it's part of the criteria to make heaven. Hmm. I'm yet to see it. We are Bible students. We learn every day. Yes, sir. But up to now, I'm saying it for the whole world to hear. I am yet to see anywhere it is written in the Bible that if you don't pay tithe, you won't make heaven. I'm yet to see it. And... I am yet to believe it. If you meet Paddy Boy, can you tell him this one on one? You sit down with him and he's telling you that you will not go to heaven, don't pay tithe. Can you correct him that? Sir? I will answer that question with the word of God. Okay, sir. You see, this work of the ministry, we, we are bound to respect the elders. But when the elders make a mistake, we are equally bound to correct them, but with respect. Okay, I'll give you an example. When we mention foundational apostles, Apostle Paul was not one of them. When I mention, or when I say foundational apostles, I mean Peter, James, John, Luke, Mark, and others. Paul was not one of them. Many Peter senior Paul in all areas. In rank. But with that seniority, there was a day Peter made the mistakes. Paul did not say, because I'm a, a junior apostle, then I cannot correct you. Apostle Paul corrected Peter. I That's not the fact. Him, he called him a hypocrite. Of course. Hmm. He said, Peter, you of all people. So anybody could be corrected. But it must be with respect. So if I'm facing Pastor Deboye now, I will say my mind based on what I know about the word of God. Because when you fear human being and disobey God, you are in problem. Hmm. So it is better you say the truth and die than to fail to say the truth and still die. Mm. So I can face any, any servant of God and say what I know about the Bible. Bible is not a restricted Bible mm. or a restricted book that, that is limited to one aspect of people. No. Anybody can buy it and read it. And that is the truth. Mm. So what I did not see in the Bible, no matter how you preach it, I won't believe it. Irrespective of your age, as long as I cannot see it in the Bible, I will not believe it with all respect. Until I see it, then I believe it. Until I see it myself, thank God I can read. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. If I cannot read now, somebody can just read anything and mistranslate it to me. You're like the days of Martin Luther mm -hmm. in, the, in the old church. So I can face any fathers in faith to disagree with them based on what I have not seen in the Bible. Mm -hmm. That one is not a sin. We are running a race, and the end is everlasting life. Mm. So if I should believe heresies now, it will affect my race. So the issue is not about 
the age of the person. It's about what God is saying. Mm. Jesus said, anyone that is ashamed of him, to say the truth now, he will be ashamed of him, even in his kingdom. Mm. So, the issue has nothing to do with uh, age or no age. It's about the word of God. Jesus said, don't add to it. Don't remove from it. When I was reading it in Revelation, I thought it was only Revelation that was written. Until I read it in the book of Proverbs. Chapter 30, verse 15, Jesus said, Every word of God is pure, and he is a shield to them that believed. He said, therefore, don't add to it, and don't remove from it. Mm. So that is my knowledge about the word of God. I'm yet to see a place whereby it is written, if you don't pay tight, it will end in hellfire. I am there to see it. What about people that came into this world that did not pay tight and they were children of God? Mm. What about people that came into the world, this world, they are children of God and they have not been walking before they die? Will they make hellfire? They have not been working for them to have tight to be paying. And they are children of God. And along the line, they, they died. Mm. Will they miss heaven? Just because they were unable to pay tight. I don't think so, sir. Uh -huh. mm. So the truth is in the Bible. It's a pity many cannot read the Bible. They don't have the time to study the word of God. Okay. And therefore, anybody can preach heresies to them. They just take it. They take it. Hook like and sink uh -huh. mm. It's a problem. You buy your Bible. Bible is the most cheapest book. With one thousand dollars, you buy Bible. No matter the, the amount you spend to buy to buy the Bible, it is the same word that is there. Buy it. Take time to read it. I have two more questions before we go now. Okay. Look at it. Ashimolo recently called the old church, I think in London, and he said we have the first president pastor that has uh, Kemi Ashimolo, the wife, that now. Is not making the second reserve version of Toby to take over. That is, a, is it Toby's? It's all. We're changing the policy of KRCC in a very major way. From this morning, we will no longer have only one resident pastor. So we'll have two resident pastors. Resident pastor one and resident pastor two. But let me see, I've always been a resident pastor, so she'll be resident pastor one. A new resident pastor is Pastor Toby Ashimolowo. So we are a resident pastor too. So he has to take some serious responsibility from now on. So I'm going to ask him to come so I can pray for him. Where's Mr. Ashimolowo? Come quick. These guys are retiring their father. Hey. Please stretch your hand towards him and ask for God's blessings on his life. Do you accept him as resident pastor too? Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you for your son. Thank you for your calling on his life, for the grace you've placed on him, and for the anointing you've placed on him. I speak blessing upon blessing, favor upon favor, grace upon grace. Anoint his lips, anoint his lives, open his eyes use him for your glory use him to change nations use him to draw his generation use him to shake systems that your name be glorified let him function beyond his own imagination let the unction to function rest strongly on him in jesus name congratulations somebody give god praise give god praise I mean, this is a church that has been there for a long time, KICC. I'm sure they have elders in that church. They have people who have grown with that ministry. Yeah. Then you appoint your son as taking over. Your wife is in the cadre of leadership. Then even Padibu's, uh, sorry, Oedipo's own church too. The same thing, he appointed one of the sons to take over in America. One is here in Nigeria. I want to ask, is it biblical that you transfer what you call... Uh, an ecclesiastical institution mm. to your children. Mm. Is it biblical? I will answer that question very simple. This issue is a spiritual issue. Hmm? And I've, I've listened to people that says, God told me, God told me. 
these people we have just mentioned now, if they are here now, mm. and they say God told them, yes, sir. You know we are, we, we may not be able to say anything again. Yes, sir. So that is why I want to believe. If that is what God asked them to do, let them go ahead and do it. But if they did it in the flesh, and that is where there is a problem. If God asked them to do it, I don't see to any... To hand it over to their wife, to the, and the like children. Bishop Bidaw said it. Uh -huh. Then to hand it over to their wife, like Bishop Mike, uh, he said, he looked with Taifi, the one he shot, also did to his wife, and all of them are just giving to their wife, to their son. If God asked them to do it, it's between them and God. Mm. But one thing I know, before we know it, we will see a result. Okay. But if the hand of God is not there, we will equally see a result. Mm. That is the truth. But it is a very delicate issue. Maybe because of what is in the ministry, you don't want it to be leaked. You don't want one or two things to be known. And you believe if it is still in the hands of the family, everything will be secure. I am afraid. Mm. I am afraid. Mm. But if they said their children are to handle by the leading of God, let's leave them and God. Mm. Because God said, He wish you not judge. He's the right judge. Because he's the one that sees things before he made the judgment. So let us leave them. If it is by the leading of God or by the leading of the flesh, time will tell. Time we talk, yeah. time we tell, mm. time we speak. Mm. Rounding up, so many Christians today are not going to church again. They're angry because some of them, they've been put under charm. Some, they used juju on them. Some, they used you to knock their car. Some, they took their wife in the church. So they would kill their children. I mean, they face a lot of spiritual attack in the church. So they are sitting there in their home in Europe, in America, in some Asian country, even in Africa here. Some people just uh, what is the essence of church when we are not fighting? The politics in the church is even more worse than those of APC and PDP mm. and uh, the other party, uh, 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 party and all the rest. So, sir, what advice do you have for people that have gotten so angry they don't want to go to church again? From Pentecostals to spiritual churches. I love that question. And I will answer by saying, I am appealing to those people. I believe they are watching us now. I am appealing to them. It is a pity they had a bad leader. But they should know one thing. Both the leader and themselves, they are heading to a particular destination. And that destination is, more, is no more than two, either hell or heaven. Mm. Therefore, they should not see what their leader did and now decide to leave God. Their tomorrow is very important. Mm. The devil might have used their leader because he wants them to, to miss the road. The leader has done what he wanted to do. It is just like I discovered that my father failed. That is not a foundation for me to fail. Mm. I think you get my point. I'm guessing is there. So if the leader that I found myself under him has misled me, and I can see what he's doing, what you are saying, I've had people telling me several times. So pastor, busy, I'm not good, more going to church. This is what pastor did to my wife. This is what pastor did to my children. I always leave. leave Even a pastor in, uh, you watch in America, CAC pastor, remove his nakedness. To, he has slept with the mother. He was trying to toast the daughter when the secret leaked to the father. <laughs> the video is there with everything showing to the, the, the girl. Sometimes ago, I was told a story. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. That one choir leader impregnated six choir members. Jesus. That, is that the harvest of what is that? <laughs> harvest of babies. <laughs> In this uh, new work about Jesus Christ, impregnated six choir members. Hmm. One of the choir members aborted her own pregnancy. The other six, I mean, five ladies, they give back to their children. Jesus Christ. Now, in a situation like that, hmm. if I am one of, I am, if I am one, one of the father of the children, I mean, ladies that were impregnated, that one is enough for me to say, Ah, can you church? You by? I'm not going to church. Oh God. But the truth is that Jesus said the days will be evil. Hmm. He said 
the law for the believers we was code. What we make the law to was code, if not because of what people will be doing. It is a prophecy. When I see it happening, I must be able to know that, oh, this is what Jesus said, though. Let me not allow this one to make me go back. To backslide. Yeah. Jesus said, the children will be disobedient to their parents. parents. If my child is disobedient to me, I cannot say because of that I want to kill the child. I have done what I should do as a parent, but this child still wants to go on his own way or her own way. That should not make me to be weakened in serving God. So I am appealing to people that are concerned, people that this thing has affected, never to see what their pastor, their apostle, their prophet did. I will remember that the pastor in Portaco, Snag, the wife of the member in Portaco, uh, Pastor Adeo. What's that church? Snag, member's wife. It was that is the one celebrated. you had. There are celebrated. many cases like that. Yes. Many cases like that. The have even you know, son was angry. He I, sacked his I, first wife. I read one recently, this very year, in Abekuta, that a pastor snatched a member's wife. Mm. The case was taken to police station. The pastor confessed that it was the devil. It was the devil. Would the devil advise him to do that? He snatched the wife together with the daughter of a man. Mm. These are things that happen to church. And if you don't seek God, such things can easily discourage you. Even Pastor uh, John Suleiman's pastor, uh, what is that name of that? Davis. The pastor David said he snatched his wife. The man has been serving for 16 years in his church. You posted the husband to Washington State from Auchi and made his wife your PA. The, when the marriage now dis, uh, uh, destroyed, you now took the wife to Abuja and gave her a big church to be managing. Imagine. The man didn't have his wife for three years and his three children. And he was wondering. That is the order of the day. Mm. So I am, I, am, I am still appealing to those that are concerned. People are angry, sir. They are very angry. Eternity is very important. Yes, sir. And anything can happen along the way. It is a race mm. that God said before us. Hebrews chapter 12. We have no choice than to run the race. And while running the race, anything can happen in order to discourage us. Mm. So we, we should not allow those happening to discourage us because they have been prophesied mm. and they are bound to happen. Mm. Eternity is very important, very salient. It is much more than whatever happened now. Mm. So those members that have stopped going to church, I am appealing to them, go back to church. It may not be your former church where you are disappointed. There are still good church. If you pray, the Holy Spirit will lead you to the right place mm. where the word of God is being preached. I want to thank you, sir, Pastor Matthew N. of Adituji for this wonderful, insightful I can't talk with you, sir, and uh, it has, I believe it has really helped a lot of people that are listening to us in all corners of the world. And uh, uh, people want us to ask you more questions, but mm. we are going to bring you back for another mm. encounter, especially on the strange uh, uh, the spirit husband, spirit husband, spirit deliverance. Wife, deliverance strategy, and some other thing. A lot of people have been hijacked, they've been. Uh, they, they've been consigned to deliver churches, ministries, things are not moving in their life. Mm. There's no money, there's no new life. Mm. Everything is jaded and all mm. that. So mm. they want you to help them more, but it's going to be on a second chance when you come here. There's no problem. And uh, we're going to appreciate you for coming. But on the last note, I want you to advise people that are watching in Europe, in America, in London, everywhere, in Africa, in Casablanca, to, mm. to Cameroon, to Freetown, to... You know, everywhere. What do you want them to do in 2020, 2022? How do you want them to live their life, especially in a very cluster year where the world is hot politically, economically, and otherwise? God bless you, my brother. Yes, sir. I will give them what I have. Okay, sir. And that thing that I have has really helped me. And what is that? Believing in serving God. I explained that statement. When you are serving God, believe in that God. There are people that are serving God and they are just serving Him for, for serving sake. They don't believe in Him. Yeah. And Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 said, if you want to be loved by God, you must believe in God. Because that verse says, God is a rewarder to those people that are diligently seeking Him. You need diligence to seek God because as you are seeking God, there are a lot of things that God will allow you to go through. Okay. 
and in a in a situation like that, you may think God has left you. No, God is still with you. He allowed it because he wants to increase your experience. He wants you to learn some things. And at the end of the day, he will now show to you and say, my son or my daughter, this is me. This is what you need. Or you take it. Mm. So I am appealing to every human being all over the world looking or watching this program. God is still the solution. No. He remains the solution. Pastors are not the solution. Prophets are not the solution. Apostles are not the solution because any of them can go anytime. God is the only one that remains forever. And that is why I will still revert them to that Amos chapter 5 from verse 4. God said, seek me and live. I'm appealing to them, seek God, believe in God, obey God, and you will experience what I have experienced. God has never failed. David said, I was young, now I am old. I have never seen a righteous man being forsaken, neither seen his children begging for food. Mm. May God give them the grace to serve God. Amen. Well, thank you. I want to appreciate you. You're going to see some phone numbers strolling through the brokers. Strolling through the brokers, I mean, please reach out to our Father in the Lord, Pastor Matthew. And not a day to day of purity of truth evangelical ministry. Uh, when he's around, he's going to pick it. If he's not there, his fears will pick it, and you could get the prayer or any spiritual enlightenment that you want. Till the next time, we're going to be graced to be with him. Please continue to share the truth. I want to thank you. We say Happy New Year. Goodbye. Thank you. God bless you. Amen, sir.